All right, my friends, so it's time for us to start working on our dude right here. Now we have the data, we have our project app and ready, and we can start writing code. So the first thing first, what I will do, I will create a separate file for holding all these informations. Because later on, we will have, for example, an app. We will have, let's say, a contact form. We have other stuff, all right? So that's why I prefer to split our code into reusable pieces so we can later on reusable uh, reuse them if we need any one of these right so that's why i'm going to create a new file for this so inside my component uh, folder i'm going to right click and choose a new folder i am just going to call it courses list like this this is my new folder i'm going to right click inside it and choose courses list js right so dot js like this so we have in the components folder we have a courses list component and in this component we only have one file we are going to see if we need later on to add something to it for the time being let's get let's keep it as it is and this courses list what i'm going to do i'm going to import react okay and also create a functional component using the shortcuts that I have showed you. Feel free to write them manually if you want. I am just going to call, call it courses list like this. So we have our component app and ready to be used. And since this component right here uh, will be rendered to the user. So that's why it, will, it has to be added in this app.js file. Because the only file that will be... Uh, let's say took by the index.js which is responsible for making connection between our js file and the public folder right here will be solved served to the user so the index.js right here will only read any code that will be added to the app.js because this is what we are telling it to do right so any code outside of the app.js will be ignored so that's why we want to make sure that we are importing any code inside uh, the app.js and since i wanted the courses list to be shown to the user so that's why i have to add it inside my app.js so here i'm going to remove app what is working and drop to a new line i'm going to open my code right here and i just can type courses so as you can see we are getting this from the auto import extension that we have installed previously it is telling us or it is just suggesting for us that we want to import this courses list so i'm going to hit enter and it will first of all import it for us for for us here on the top so we can use it here i'm going to close my component so as you can see ladies and gentlemen we are rendering one component to the user now the only thing that i'm going to do is to hit control and save so this will be formatted for me so i'm gonna hit control and save so as you can see prettier formatted this course or this code for me however going back here to the course list what i'm going to do i am just going to go ahead and render a very simple thing i'm just going to render a div that says courses list like this so as you can see if i based uh, or if i save i can switch back to the web browser to my application it says courses list so as you can see ladies and gentlemen in this video we have created our first file which is courses list the next video we are going to get our data so we can work with it see you in the next one